This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get into this real quick. Okay, so Ja Rule is doing so many interviews about this 50 Cent versus. I'm starting to believe that he needs this versus to happen. He needs the check from this versus to happen. He needs the hype from this versus to happen. Uh, he was he kept comparing him in 50 Cent's problem to Jeezy and Gucci's problem, which is true. It is kind of a similar problem. I would say even more extreme. He says he could definitely sit in a room with 50 and do it. I don't think 50 would do it because it would really breathe a lot of life back into Ja Rule. Think about it. Ja Rule did a lot in hip hop. He did, he did. We're never gonna take that away from him. He had a, a, a strong five years of just, you know, dominating. Then 50 Cent came in and also, uh, Irv Gotti had problems with the label, right? So then 50 Cent took over and stayed relevant up until today, okay? So 17 years. Um, ja Rule, you didn't really hear about him anymore. Let's just be honest, okay? It was pretty much a wrap after 2005. Ja Rule was just gone. I mean, he did actually did go away to jail too, you know? So like, you didn't hear from Ja Rule for a long time. And, you know, he's just... He's Ja Rule, he's legendary, but you just don't hear from him anymore. I don't think 50 Cent's ever going to breathe life back into his career. Uh, they have their toe-to-toe -to -toe every once in a while back in that, but that's just for 50 Cent to keep the foot on his neck, okay? Now, Ja Rule, Ja Rule is a great rapper. Ja Rule can make good music. 50 Cent, also a great rapper, makes great music, but this is never going to get resolved, <laughs> okay? Uh, he's better off just going forward, doing a 50, doing one with Fat Joe or T.I. I think Ja Rule versus T.I. would be good. Uh, I think T.I. would win. It just, the records are just, I don't know, to me, to, but, but it's a personal opinion, you know? T.I.'s records uh, versus Ja Rule, I'm going to probably side with T.I., but that's just me. A girl will probably side with Ja Rule. You know, Ja Rule's hits are legendary, and so are T.I.'s. I, I don't know. It would be interesting. be interesting. Um, last, next, we got, let's talk about, probably should just put it on the screen, but how DJ Khaled derailed Ace Hood's career. I mean, we talked about this a little bit yesterday. But let's rehash this, okay? Let's not get away from the fact that, yeah, DJ Khaled might have brought Ace Hood into the game, but Ace Hood didn't do anything for DJ Khaled to derail his career, especially when, yeah, you could say the first two albums, you know, all DJ Khaled bringing in the features and everything. But then Ace Hood had a period of like two years of nothing, absolutely nothing. Until 2000, end of 2010 to 2011, you got Hustle Hard. This is Ace Hood himself, without DJ Khaled, rebirthing his career. And DJ Khaled got right on that bandwagon and rode that bandwagon until the wheels fell off. Okay? Uh, they went from Def Jam. He moved Ace Hood from Def Jam onto Cash Money Universal. And then when Khaled wasn't getting what he needed from Cash Money Universal that he was so happy to be on, he moved them independent, which totally derailed Ace, Ace Hood's momentum. And then when, you know, things were in limbo, he didn't let Ace Hood go. That's where he derailed his career. If he had let Ace Hood go and just do whatever he wanted at that point and released him from the label, he might have been able to re-sign somewhere else. But DJ Khaled left him in limbo for two years of nothing. Nobody was interested in signing him after that. DJ Khaled blew up on Snapchat, signed some other artists, Ken Jones and some other people. They had hit, hit singles. Never heard from them again, right? Never heard from Vado. You hear from, but it, you know he doesn't push Vado anymore. Uh, Movado, he doesn't really push that anymore, right? Um, and Ace Hood was, you know, eventually had to like complain his way off the label. Meanwhile, DJ Khaled blew up on Snapchat, never to help Ace Hood again. And I think he owes Ace Hood a lot. I think he should put him on the next album with a major single, and not sign him again. Just let him let him really uh, thrive off of, you know, some major support, but being independent. I think DJ Khaled owes that to him. 
Um, next up. So we got Cardi B complaining again online. Uh, now she's complaining about ethnicity. Uh, Cardi B is a complainer. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it. But, you know, she just can't uh, get out of her own way. You know, like she has these issues with everything that people say about her when really you won already. Okay. I don't know why she is so obsessed with people questioning her and everything. You know, people, I, I don't even know what's going on now. You know, the, this whole argument between me bringing up my family tree is because the past four days, y'all been com comparing me to someone that doesn't even look like me. And then she says, y'all really sit here in my comments arguing, don't be making sense. My grandmother is fully Af Afri-Caribbean black. My grandfather was light. That's why my, wait, so what? And she says, Afro-Caribbeans exist. I mean, what, is this really an issue? We, <laughs> does she, I, I, I don't get it. She says, since high school, I was very aware of who I was. And like, you really are going to argue with people in your comments? Cardi B, come on, man. Like, this is ridiculous, you know? It's like, just, yeah. You know, She's not happy with herself. It shows her insecurity when she does all this. You know, I'm sorry to say. And she should be very secure. She has conquered so much in life. You know, I mean that from a positive uh, a positive stance. Okay? I really do. All right. So next up. Trey Songs was actually arrested. This is what's being reported. We've got to let him speak. But they're saying because he didn't. Uh, put his mask on at the game. He was asked to put his mask on. He refused to, said he wouldn't be muzzled, and then had a... Uh, but this guy had, supposedly had the cooties, got over it, knows it's a real thing, and, and knows that when you're in a public place like that, there's, you know, certain mandates in place, and he wouldn't put his mask on, and that's what happened. And I was really, you know, hoping that, you know, I, I was really automatically just saying hey you know the, the cop was probably a little too aggressive and i was giving him the benefit of the doubt now i still am because i still want to hear his side of the story but very weird i mean if that's the truth that's weird for trey songs to take that stance when he's been through it already and knows the importance of that because you don't want to spread you know like people want to feel comfortable i get it like that's why we put it on people want to feel a little more comfortable when they go on public even if it doesn't completely stop everything it does stop people from sneezing all over the place right at least and it lets makes people take things a little bit more seriously I know it doesn't stop everything, but it does make people take things a little bit more serious. You know, we could at least say that, right? But anyways, I appreciate you guys. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. Make sure you smash the like button. Peace.